I came into programming because I had gotten to try it out in college, but I was actually majoring in theater. And after I had a few transitions in life, I ended up with a 10-year career in retail. But ultimately, it stopped being a fit for me, and I thought back to the programming I'd been doing in college, how much I enjoyed it, and Launch Academy seemed like the right fit to be able to start over and get into something that I remembered having loved. I came into Launch knowing what I wanted to make based on my life experiences in retail and not living on a regular nine to five. We always had trouble figuring out how we were gonna plan dinner, what we were going to make, how long it was gonna take, what it should include, and I could never find a source of all of those details in one place. I'm Meredith, I graduated from Launch Academy in the spring 2016 cohort. So now I'm gonna walk you through the app I built, which is called Supper Time, and this is an app that lets you search either user added recipes or to see what the internet suggests you can make based on your queries. So if we start with what users have added, we can click on that button and you're brought to a screen that gives you two fields and you can search one, the other, or both. So if I just want to search for recipes that contain chicken, I can enter chicken in the ingredient field and I will get back all of the recipes in the database that match for the ingredient chicken. There's a link just under the cookbook for add a new recipe and you can click on that and you'll get a pop-up which actually uses JavaScript and Ajax, so it's super fast. You're not waiting on the system to load. It's all sitting in the background, just waiting for you to call on it and bring it up so you can use it. And there's also the option to click the button called, what does the internet suggest I make? And this gives you the ability to make an API call through the Yumly API, which has access to cookbook collections from Martha Stewart and Better Homes and Gardens. So you get a lot of very big name collections that you can search the same way you can search the database cookbook. You can enter an ingredient or a time frame or both, and it will pull that up for you. So if I say 30 minutes in chicken, I will get the first 10 recipes that come up that are 30 minute chicken recipes. What I liked about building the web app is it's hugely flexible. I have the ability to use this app in a format that's really easy so I can have the exact same grocery list in my pocket at the store, move it onto my iPad so that I can see it and cook with it in my kitchen, and then move it onto my computer later so that if I found a new recipe from a family cookbook somewhere that I want to add to my own personal collection, I can do that at a keyboard without having to fight with the touch screen. So while I was building my breakable toy, technically I had to learn how to actually build a search, which is something that I was able to really dig into because we spent a good chunk of time at launch learning how to learn and learning how to research what you want. Coming into launch, I basically knew nothing, but it was reassuring to know that I was now in a room full of people who were at the exact same place I was. My mentor was amazing about finding time to help me out when I was stuck. Everyone on staff is hugely helpful in making sure that you don't fall behind. It was really exciting to find that I had the tools and the skills to build this app because I've been looking for it for years and now I actually made it myself. I couldn't find it, so I was able to create it basically out of what felt to me like nothing. And now I went from not having this tool at all to I have built a fully functional tool that does exactly what I want it to do. And that's really exciting.